This evening we have the godmother of Gloucester joining us in my kitchen, something I've been looking forward to for a very long time, so I thank you, Safathia, for oh. taking time out of your schedule to come with me today. It's my pleasure, it's my pleasure, and um, I've been hearing for all these years, Felicia's recipes, Felicia's recipes, not this Felicia, her grandmother Felicia, and I was just curious, of different cultures from Italy. Because when you talk about Sicily, you have different islands in Sicily, and you have different towns, and they all have different recipes, but the basic is the seven fishes. Well, how we cook them and what we do with them is totally different. Come and watch. I'm learning something new and then I will teach my friend who I call Jada and I'm her Dom DeLuise because she loves to cook and I love to eat. <laughs> so we're off in our kitchen today and I'll start off with taking the godmother ring off for today. All right this is a recipe that I grew up with um, remembering all my uncles all the men in our family joining on Christmas Eve at my grandmother's house. Um, a recipe I can honestly tell you I did not enjoy as a child, but I've learned to appreciate as an adult. Very, very pleased to see that the different, the mushrooms, the onion, the leeks, the celery, and the olives, and I see some capers and sauce. Because back way when I was real young, and I'm not old, um, from Terracini, where my mother was actually born, they would do just a plain basic recipe. But it's the same thing, the cod. And also in Portugal, they would have the same thing for Christmas Eve, the cod. And as we all know, what is Massachusetts fish? The cod, so sacred cod. And look at this beautiful piece of fish. Yeah. It's amazing. So when you see this fish and you feel it, it, it's salted. So this can stay for the longest time. You can keep it in your freezer for almost a year, technically. And what they do is actually, you see some of the homes, the fishermen, they would actually salt it and then they would hang it in their basements like this. Mm -hmm. Hanging it. When I went down there, I thought that was my grandmother's stockings, but they were the cod. So it's like, okay. So actually, after you see it hanging, you saw it that way. I never wanted to try it, but what I missed was a lot. I picked this up um, yesterday, actually, the salted cod, mm -hmm. and I got a big pan of water. I vividly remember my grandmother having a large sink yeah. in her basement, mm -hmm. and she would fill the sink up, put all the salted cod in, and she would change the water every half hour. She actually would do it for three days. Yes. If it's really salted, the ones that we used to hang in the basement, um, you really would have to do it for three days. Mm -hmm. The reason why I'm smelling it, because someone says, well, you can't smell it because it's salted, but that's what you want to smell, the freshness of the salt. You can, there is a difference between the stale salted cod. See how it's so easy mm -hmm. to cut? That means that's it's so perfectly while Safathia cuts the fish, I'm going to go to the cooktop and I'm going to saute in olive oil the onions, can, the leeks, and the celery. Okay? Sure. You can cut it this way. You can cut it this way. And you can actually freeze them in pieces like this or if you make them the chunks. Now, do you do them filet? Because I want to respect your recipe. We do filet. You do filet. We're going to layer it. All right, and one day I'll teach you my recipe. It's easy and simple, so this way, while it's cooking, we can enjoy our wine. And so you'll know the olives, I learned a trick. If sometimes you get some olives and they taste differently, the best thing to do is to make your olives all taste the same when you're cooking, is leave them in white wine for an hour. Really? It like takes that. the bitterness out. If you're gonna make like a gabaladina with the eggplant or your gyotas, you know, when we were younger, we waited all year long because to us, you didn't get salted cod anytime you wanted to. You didn't get the octopus. Now you can go right to the market basket and get it. When we were younger, you waited for the fishermen. They got it from Portugal. We had it Christmas Eve. In the tradition of Christmas Eve, as you can see, Felicia's house is always open. Her family's always been welcome, everyone. The doors are always open and everywhere else in Gloucester. It's amazing. So if you ever had leftover salted cod, don't, don't throw, throw it away. <laughs> So, Safathia, I have the onions. We have the leeks sautéing over here. In a separate pan, I put a little bit of water in the mushrooms. All we want to do is get the mushrooms to throw their first water. It's like a dark, you'll see it, it'll turn black, dark, dark brown. We want to discard that water before we add the mushrooms to our sauce. So that's why I have the mushrooms here in a separate pan. On this side, I just opened two cans of San Marzano tomatoes, whole tomatoes. I'm going to puree. I'm actually using three cans, but two fit in my Cuisinart at a time. So here I have two cans, and we're just going to puree this and get this ready for the sauce. But here, you can see how the water turns brown? Yeah, you want to get rid of we that. Want, we need to get rid of that. That's bitter. So we're just going to strain this. 
I have our three cans of San Marzano tomatoes oh, already. Oh, isn't that so the best? Out there. Oh, you know what? I don't care what anyone says. It, the San Marzano, it's like ha having homemade tomato paste. That's the fact that already that was, mixed in Those together. are expensive. I know, but you can't let me finish. God, I'm just girl, saying. Won't even let me talk. She was complaining <laughs> earlier that my leeks were expensive, but well, I'm just expensive. telling you, they are the best. But let me finish the substitute, Miss okay. Jada. What is it? You can get the pastine kitchen ready. Yes, you can. Ninety-nine cents. Put yes, it in your blender. You can. Or your little Mr. whatever here, but you can put it in your Cuisinart or your blender puree and it comes out just the same. All right, so Fatia, we're gonna add the potatoes. Isn't that great? The colors look great, huh? Oh, yeah, the potatoes now go Red, in, white, the green. leeks. Ready? There we go, San Marzano tomatoes. At this point, we're gonna add the mushrooms that have been um, boiled in a little bit of water just to release the dark juices, the bitterness of the mushrooms. And we have one pound of pitted um, green olives. In my capers. So Fatia is dying. I'm putting capers in this, but we're putting capers because my grandmother Felicia, she put capers. That salted capers rinsed a little bit. And they're not organic. You can smell, you can smell the leeks and the onions. It's yeah, amazing. And this even though I don't good. do the same tradition, but this is great tradition. It is a great one. You know what? This is like your grandmother knew gourmet before gourmet was around. She was the best cook. Yeah. Ever. You know, that's amazing. I mean, this isn't a meal itself, and this is just one of the things we do uh, for Christmas Eve. Just one. one. And we add the olives. We're going to add the olives. See, you know, I've been really good because the reason why I'm this big and she's that small and we're both good cooks, she don't taste. She measures. I taste. There we go. Now, right now, if you see, everything's still raw. And if you see, it's like a, a fisherman's stew. Mm -hmm. But once it slowly cooks, and how long do you cook it for? Two hours at 400 degrees. My grandmother would take this, the gonza, and she would layer some on the bottom of the pan, put some fish, and keep layering until it was filled. Put it in a 400 degree oven. Once it came to a boil in the 400 degree oven, she would turn the heat down to 350 and continue cooking it. The total cook time was exactly two hours. In two wow. hours it was done. You know what, that's a smart lady. Put it in the yeah. oven, this way you can always have a glass of wine. Exactly. And, so and, then, and then when she would take it out of the oven, she would let it rest on the counter for a little while. The best thing about this and the salted cod, because you can eat it now, you can eat mm. it later. I mean, it can be rewarmed yeah. over and over and over. You can eat it cold, and you would. Yes. Because how many of us on Christmas Eve go to bed? Not many. And how many of the Not families go to bed? Who's playing day. cards? Who's having a good time? Mm -hmm. Even the kids are running around. The only time uh, is like, all right, the kids, we need a break. Yeah. Santa's coming. And then, yeah. you know, they're all in bed. And then we don't go to bed. All right. I we really, got a little bit I there. I love green olives, don't you? Love them. Mm -hmm. And then you can put the fish. Now remember, we've soaked this fish. We've changed the water several times. My grandmother would seriously be soaking it for three days. She would actually make this sauce the day before and then put it in the spizza room. So I, I saw both ends of the fishing industry. It was... Yeah, you were very lucky. I, we were lucky. Well, then you, you appreciate both ends. You appreciate, yeah. you know, the people who were working hard and had to go fishing. Mm -hmm. And you saw what, what they had to endure and their yeah. families. Yeah. And you saw, you know, what it took to actually get ready to go fishing. Yeah. You know, when you're, you're, you're well, my cousins, grandfather Joe with the my cousins on the, the cap, you know, on the Captain Cosmo, my yeah. cousins, their, their father, you know, he was out to sea for a long time and unfortunately obviously was lost at sea. But um, that's why my grandfather started the family business with Captain Joe and Sons because he wanted the kid, him, yeah. the, his boys to be home with their families and I was lucky. This is amazing. It really is. And I, you know what? See? You don't have to keep with the old tradition because when I first walked in, I had this look like, oh, come on, Felicia. That wasn't, but you know what, Felicia, I must say, I really am enjoying myself. Thanks. New so ideas, happy. new things to brighten things up, to change mm -hmm. it, but yet the same, I was saying, she's gonna ruin my tradition, it's the salted <laughs> cod, but no, you didn't. Thank you. It came out delicious, Thank it looks you. and smells fantastic, and it's going to be amazing to eat that. You put that on the table, everyone's gonna be mm. family. Get the, oh, Get the, the bread, the bread, the bread, the bread, the bread, the bread. we go. We got a banyati the bread. That banyati, oh, I love that. Banyati the bread means you gotta dip the bread. Dip it in and eat dip it. Dip the bread. Oh. Wow, oh my God, this is scrumptious. 
We did mm. good, Sabathia. I'm sorry, I overflowed your stuff. That's okay. I never do a little That's bit. Okay. I always do a bondanza. Bondanza, <laughs> bellagina. It overlaps, but it's the best thing because when you can smell it, you can see it, and you've got to try it. Come Smells on, like everyone. Heaven. Oh, heaven. I'm so glad we cooked in your kitchen. I you get to, to wash the dishes. <laughs> Thanks. No, I you've don't been mind. a great host. I don't this, mind. Thank you for this coming. This has been Sabathia. amazing. I've learned something new. It really is. Look at that with all. Uh, oh, you can smell the olives oh, and the, the cod, mm. perfectly cooked. I don't want to squish too hard right there with the capers. All right, we're going to do it rough style, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean, look at that. Look Doesn't at that. Taste oh, let's try. You do a good job here. Yeah, I'm just going to do. Break that apart. Don't be dainty, honey. You I like got the good, so we always I'm fight for this. I'm dainty. Uh, All right, we got to bring it together. Ready? It's real bright, not organic. <laughs> I didn't tell you. No. <laughs> you didn't make it, honey, did you? Let's see. Mm. Oh. Go for it. Yeah. Aren't those leeks worth the... All right, we'll give you the leeks. The leeks. She was can having a heart attack Can you give the me leeks. the Trader Joe basil? I will give you the Trader Joe basil. Mm. Truce. That is delicious, isn't mm -hmm. it? But I want an olive. Mm. You can really taste the codfish. It's not salty. And it's not fishy. That's the mm -mm. perfect part about it. Not fishy. I really like it. All right. Isn't Let's that terrible it. that when we're younger, we only done have bread, but now oh we want to eat the whole thing. It's out of this world. But you know, I'm not going to tell my kids how good it really is so I can enjoy it for a few more years until they get to adulthood. Hey, kids! <laughs> your mother's baccalata was ready! <laughs> gotcha! <laughs>